So with this um, day of training um, at PR Gym, we started off with deadlifts. So I'm pretty sure this set is at about 80 kg. Um, it looks like I forgot to put one of the weights on there. Um, so yeah, um, the thing with this is that the bar that we were using like, wasn't flexible whatsoever. Like the one at my normal gym, you can move. Like it's not a full on straight bar um, in terms of like when you put weight on it, I think it like bends a little bit, which is great for comfort. So deadlifting without that was a bit weird because it, it was a bit tougher um, and I hadn't deadlifted for ages anyway. Not that that's an excuse, but you know, I'm just saying anyway. So as you can see, I'm trying to keep my form nice and tight, bringing it up and yeah, I did quite a lot of these. I mean, this was a few weeks ago when things weight-wise have changed, which is great um, in both aspects actually. Um, so yeah, this is the deadlift. So if you've not done one before, I recommend trying it. It's really good for your lower back. It's really good for your, well, just everything. It's a great compound exercise. Go do them. They're awesome. So on this set, it looks like I'm going for 100 kg, um, which I hadn't done in quite a while or haven't done. You're about to see whether or not I do it. <laughs> um, my PB on actual deadlifts is 110. And I'm not sure if I put it in next, but if I did, I did fail at it, um, unfortunately, but I haven't done it for a while, so there you go. Um, and as you can see, I think I should have used chalk, because I think I could have got more out, but I'm pretty new to using chalk in the first place, so we shall see. So this weight was 110, which I have previously done, but that was like last year in October. So as you can see, um, I'm just about to try and pull it off the floor. Um, and whilst you see me not actually complete this, um, it, do you know what? I just wasn't that way inclined. But there were the boys that I was training with were like an hour late for training and I was just pissed off anyway. So there you go. Um, however, keep on pulling. So the second exercise that we did was basically a seated row on the cable machine. So you back nice and tight, bring your elbows back, keep them as close to your body as you can and just basically squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull. This has to be one of my favourite exercises, um, but I don't actually do it that often. Um, however, here we are, pulling away. Um, it was a bit different to normal because the equipment's different to my usual. Exercise number three, um, pull downs, lap pull downs we did quite well i say wide it was just like normal um i think it's 12 reps on each and we did about four sets um i really like this actually um really really like it i do it most back days um but it was nice to get someone to video it because you know as your back is well behind you you can't see what it looks like and i was like oh check it out um so yeah that was pretty enjoyable um let's move on to the next exercise which is the dumbbell row. How much do I enjoy this? Not very much at all. It's one of my like least favourite back exercises just because, I don't know, I don't know why it's my least favourite, but it looks good and it does a great job for your lats too. So that was everything from back day. Um, I did a couple of other small exercises, but I was, we'd been there for ages training. Um, as you can see, this is my morning smoothie or maybe my post-workout smoothie it's massive um and full of like bananas and protein here is one of my many teas i have made potato chips with mixed veg and it looks like i've got some black beans in there too which was absolutely delicious that evening i also went to star starbucks to try the burnt caramel um syrup in my americano Ooh, look at this more food um they're linda mccartney uh soya sausages uh, mixed veg and sweet potato chip type things which were also very tasty um this particular day um or week even there was some really nice snow uh the one and only time this year